Venus, Earth, and Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, not to mention all of their moons. Eight planets, one sun, this is the way our solar system runs. Eight planets, one sun, this is the way our solar system runs. Mercury, the first planet, the smallest one, also the planet closest to the sun. Twice a year you can see it in the sky, no telescope needed, just use your eye. It's made out of rocks and metal you see, just chilling on its axis terrestrially. It orbits the sun in 87 Earth days. This means a shorter time between birthdays. Mission Control, we're approaching Venus right now. Venus, the second planet from the sun, believe it or not, it's the hottest one, 800 degrees is the average temp, it's called the morning star, sometimes you get a glimpse of it shining brightly in our atmosphere, one day on Venus is longer than its year, that sounds strange, but the fact is, it's rotating very slowly on its axis, the sun and the moon and the stars, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, not to mention all of their moons. Earth, the third planet from the sun, the only one that we found life on, like people, animals, plants, birds, and fish. Without Earth's water, life wouldn't exist. Earth has one moon that lights up the night sky, its gravitational pull causes tides to rise. Earth is the planet with the most water, and its yearly orbit, 365 and a quarter. Mission Control, we're approaching Mars right now. Mars, the fourth planet from the sun, is the red planet, the, the last terrestrial one. Its gravitational pull is much lighter. If you were there, you could jump three times higher. And just like Earth, Mars has seasons. Its axis is tilted, that's the main reason. To orbit the sun, it takes Mars two years. Its deserts actually have ice, that's kind of weird. Inside the Milky Way galaxy, the solar system is so dark from the sun the fifth planet the first gas giant man is gigantic is the largest planet in our solar system you can fit over 300 planet earths in it it has a great red spot from stormy skies discovered by astronomers in 1665 with over 60 moons in short days jupiter is different in a lot of ways mission control we're approaching saturn wow we should look at those rings saturn the sixth planet from the sun is the second gas giant the cool looking one with the rings around it made of dust and ice and they're huge over 8,000 miles wide it has the fastest winds of all the planets 150 moons and even smaller movements it takes 29 years to round the sun and saturn's rings make it a truly unique one the sun and the moon and the stars mercury venus earth and mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune not to mention all of their moons Uranus, the seventh planet from the sun, the opposite of Venus is the coldest one. Its axis is the most unique thing of all. It makes Uranus rotate like a bowling ball. It's the lightest of the gas giants. It takes 84 Earth years just to make its orbit. Some people say its name a different way, but we'll stick with Uranus if that's okay. Mission Control, we're approaching Neptune. Man, it's cold out here. Neptune. Eighth planet from the sun, a bright blue planet, also an icy one. For centuries, people didn't know that it existed. It's not that big, so we can see how they missed it. It's the smallest of the four gas giants with quite a bit of mass and a very active climate. It's a big ball of hydrogen and helium sitting at the very far end of the solar system. Inside the Milky Way galaxy, the solar system gives you so many things to see. Last but not least, Let's talk about the sun as the star at the center of our solar system, responsible for all of Earth's weather and climate so big that one million Earths could fit inside of it. It's a huge burning ball of gases, don't even try to look at it without protective glasses. It supplies the Earth with heat and light, the sun keeps the seasons of the Earth working right. The sun and the moon and the stars, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, not to mention all of their moons.